Okay, so since 2020, we have had ARM-based laptops, which have given us really good performance, but also incredible battery life. But the one thing they aren't is upgradable. Now, an ARM processor is the same sort of processor you get in a mobile phone. Mobile phones don't tend to be upgradable either. But the laptop underneath this is upgradable in some ways. Basically, it's a display, keyboard, and trackpad. And they're things that you tend not to upgrade in a laptop. The things that are better in newer laptops are things like the processor, the RAM, and the storage. So if we plug in this Huawei Honor 20 mobile phone from 2018, uh, so it's an older mobile phone. Uh, I'm just gonna switch this on. You can see it's booting up. And basically on here, it asked me if I wanna use wired projection, which is where the phone displays on the screen. But you can see it's not the phone's display that it's showing. It's an operating system designed to be used on a desktop. So you can see I've got the files up here at the moment. File management is always a horrible thing to use on a mobile phone, but on this, it's super easy. And also the browser is a desktop browser. So if I was to do a search for BBC Sport, using the mouse and keyboard like you would on a normal laptop, you can see if I click on this, it's pretty snappy. Even though it's a 2018 mobile phone, it's working well. And so how do I upgrade it? Well, this is a newer mobile phone. This is a Samsung Galaxy S20. And so if I plug that into the same connection, I have a different desktop interface now. So this is DeX, which has been going for quite a while now since the Galaxy S8. Uh, and I did have one of those before and that was actually pretty snappy as well. Now I did a little Geekbench test to test these two phones side by side to see how much better performance I was getting. It's got an eight core 2600 megahertz processor on the Honor View 20. It's gone up to a 2730 megahertz eight core processor on the Galaxy S20. We've gone from six gigabytes of RAM to eight gigabytes of RAM and it's DDR5 in the Galaxy S20, so faster RAM. Storage is the same, both 128 gigabytes. So it doesn't look like we've improved that much, but when we look at the Geekbench scores, the Galaxy S20 is way faster, 5,338 versus 1,489. There was a workload that didn't work on the Honor View 20, but I have found in my test that it is definitely much faster on lots of things. And that's the CPU and the GPU. So gaming is a lot faster on the S20. Now I only paid £135 for this Samsung Galaxy S20, and uh, I think that's a really good price. Uh, it was C grade, but for some reason, it's absolutely immaculate. So if I take it out of this, and it was the cheapest case I could get on Amazon, because uh, it's not my main phone, it is completely immaculate. I, do, I can't believe how good a condition it is. Now if we plug it back in again, and I use my fingerprint to unlock, which is quite cool. So if we go back to uh, Chromium as the web browser, and if we have a look how much an Honor View 20 is, so six gig 128 is what I had. Now mine isn't B grade, 90 pounds. But I definitely think it's worth the extra for the Samsung. And the CrowView, uh, which has basically just become available uh, on a Kickstarter, is a really good price. So if we have a look at my video, which is this one, I've put a link in there. Oh, it opens in the YouTube app, it looks like. Uh, so if we go, not now, you can see it just works like a, a normal desktop computer. So if we open up more, there's the link for Kickstarter. And if we go back to this project. So well, I'll do it in dollars because most of my subscribers are American. Uh, so there's $129 Kickstarter option here. Uh, there was one a bit cheaper earlier on. Then there's 139. There's a few different things that they come with. It ends up being quite a reasonably priced laptop. And a laptop with a webcam which is way better than even a thousand pound laptop because mobile phones tend to have much better webcams uh, than you would get in a laptop. Battery life is also excellent because this isn't powering a computer, it's just powering a display. And the mobile phone has its own battery in it anyway, so it really does last for many, many hours. So I wanted to show what the desktop performance was like because unlike an entry-level laptop like a Windows or a Chromebook, which tend to use eMMC drives, which are really slow, 
Uh, flagship mobile phones use quite fast storage, so if we open up the Chrome browser and uh, let's just get, well you can see I've got a few tabs here, so BBC News, let's go for Sport, uh, we've got the Raspberry Pi tab, oh it's got a BBC Sport applet, that's why it's open that. If I go home, there you go, you can see the web browser is, is pretty snappy, Hot UK Deals, uh, if we let it load up some of these and we click on something to see what the deal is, you can see that the web browser is actually pretty decent and doesn't feel slow at all. Uh, if we go, uh, in fact, to all apps and we launch something like, uh, where's YouTube? Oh, YouTube is on the desktop, is it? Must, must be in. So if I go down to this, click on this and open YouTube and we'll just pick a 4K video so oh, in fact I've got some searches here look. Uh, so if I click on that and go to full screen, it copes with it really well. The sound is coming out of the phone speaker at the moment. You can configure it differently. Um, but that, that's working nicely. If we go to all apps, you can see all the apps that are currently running. So like the BBC Sport app uh, and I can do full screen and so on. Just It feels just like a Chromebook really, but it feels faster than the entry level sort of seller on Chromebooks with EMMC drives. It just feels more snappy. And if we click on a story here, uh, so Experience AI, you can see it, it's really, really nice and fast. Uh, if I go to all apps, I put the uh, Gemini AI on here somewhere. Yeah, this one, I, I don't actually know how this works. I haven't tried this yet. So we've got a microphone here. Create an image of a robot riding a bicycle. There you go. So that. Oh, this, <laughs> let's uh, let's pick that and try it and see what it does. I'm still learning to create images. Oh, okay. So, uh, what is the latest mobile phone from Samsung? And if we hit, oh, it's doing a search. Look. So we've got AI on here as well, and you can see that it. And it's going to talk to me. Let's close that down. So we have AI. And of course, all the streaming services work because it's Android. So you can have things like Netflix and Amazon Prime and uh, BBC iPlayer and things like that. So let's try a bit of emulation. I've got the PlayStation 2 emulator here, uh, Aether SX2. And I've got Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. And as you can see, it works really nicely, lovely and smooth and copes with that really well. So let's try a different game. Let's try a bit of FIFA. So we exit out of that and launch FIFA 13. I was playing this two player and uh, on a TV through the phone and it actually was really enjoyable. Uh, it worked really well. There was a little bit of lag there but it was perfectly enjoyable to play. Let's just go straight into a game. Yeah, it feels pretty snappy. I've just been playing the uh, beta version of FC25. It definitely doesn't look as crisp as that, but the gameplay is still pretty similar. Oh, nearly. Right, let's try a bit of GameCube emulation as well. So let's quit out of that. I think it's probably best if you're playing games to, to close down the other ones. So Dave Mirror Freestyle BMX 2. Let's just jump straight in. All the menus are lovely and fast. Yeah, that's working fine. That looks great. Lovely and smooth. I always think the GameCube does look really nice and crisp. Right, so let's quit out of that. I was reading earlier on that the Google Pixel also has a desktop mode now. So ETA Prime's got a video here. Finally, the Google Pixel 8 Pro gets desktop mode. So there's that, but also the latest Samsung phone. I think Honor still do a desktop mode. There are some others available as well. I did have the Microsoft phone, which had Windows as an operating system, 
but I don't have that anymore. There you go. So Galaxy S24 Ultra. So to go up to a terabyte of storage, 12 gig of RAM, 5,000 milliamp hour battery now. And it's an eight core, but it goes up to 3.39 gigahertz now. And obviously as new phones come out, then the laptop becomes more upgradable, uh, but these are gonna be really expensive. Look at that, the terabyte version, 1,382 pounds. So let's see how well Fortnite runs. I haven't changed anything on the settings. The character looks pretty decent. And all the menus and everything seem to work pretty fast. Okay, so here's Fortnite. How does this look? Oh, it looks pretty decent. Yeah, that's pretty good. Now I haven't got sound, but uh, I'm hoping you get it through the capture device. Uh, but I guess I'll find out in a minute. But uh, it'll be good to see what the gameplay is like. Let's just go somewhere fairly busy. Other people are going to go into that tower. Let's try down here out of the way. We can see a chest. And actually there's a gun down here. Let's get that first. Yeah, it's perfectly playable. Have a little drive around while there's no one shooting at me. Yeah, that actually feels absolutely fine. Again, haven't changed any of the settings on that. I need to set up the control of the sensitivities a bit full on. Oh, there we go, let's have a look. Oh no, it's only another one of the same, never mind. Yeah, that definitely seems to be working all right. Happy with that. So it's not just mobile phones that you can use with this. Some mini PCs also support display via USB-C. This is a little Melee mini PC I've been sent to test. I've still got the cover on it, uh, but it's been very impressive. It's an N100 processor on it. So this laptop is so upgradable. Uh, and if I, well, put LaunchBox on here, I've got a few games on here and a few emulators to, to be able to test in another video. But yeah, I'm super impressed. Anyway, let me know in the comments what you think. There is a link and I do benefit from the link from the Kickstarter. So just to be uh, fully open about that. But I am really impressed with it and I've been using it loads, even in the car the other day while I was waiting. Okay, so I hope all this helps. Thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe.